Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Iman. So for today's Sunday tutorial, I'm gonna be talking about two of my favorite things. Number one, skincare. And then number two, I'll be showing you how to create this no makeup makeup look. This makeup has been my go-to everyday, super easy makeup, but it's really all about starting with good skin first. So we're gonna start with that. Let's get into it. All right, guys, I am excited about the skincare portion of this video because I'm going to really get into a product that I've been using. I've actually mentioned this as another video of mine. I'm excited that I get to talk about it today. About 12 weeks ago, I talked about this on my Instagram. I started using a product called Different Gel. The reason I started using Different Gel is because they reached out to do a sponsored video with me, and I didn't really know much about retinoids or Different when I first spoke to them but once I've tried the product and I started using it that's kind of when I fell in love with it as you guys know for the last little while I've been sharing with you that my skin has been breaking out a lot a lot of acne like around my chin area my cheeks and it was just brought on by so many things like stress and just life in general, <laughs> which happens to all of us. I've really noticed how much more confident I feel when my skin is looking good because when my skin got really bad for a while there, you guys, I remember I was in an event. It wasn't too long ago. I remember like literally just pushing all my hair like this because I was just so embarrassed. I didn't want anyone like to notice how bad my skin was. When people were trying to take pictures with me, I didn't want to be in any pictures. I left the event because I was just so self-conscious about how bad my skin was. And I'm just so happy that I'm at a point now where I just kind of feel back to myself. So I really do know how much difference it makes when you feel like your skin just looks the best it can be. So Different Gel is the first brand to bring an ingredient called Adapalene to be able to sell it over the counter. Adapalene used to be prescription only. And once Different Gel came out, they were the first brands that you can actually go get this ingredient without a prescription. But you're probably wondering, what is Adapalene? <laughs> so Adapalene is a type of retinoid and retinoids are acne fighting ingredients. So Adapalene basically is an acne fighting ingredient and is the first FDA approved prescription strength retinoid that is available without a prescription. So I started using different gel, like I said, 12 weeks ago. This is not a spot treatment. This is a gel that you apply as part of your skincare routine all over your face every day. And you wanna apply it even when your skin is clear. All you need is a small amount and how it works is that it unclogs your pores, it clears your acne, and it helps prevent new acne from starting. And the different thing about this is that you wanna keep using this even when your skin is clear. That's how you prevent new acne from coming. So it's just something that you kind of incorporate into your skincare routine, use all the time, and after about 12 weeks of using it, that's when you really start to see results. Result. So I'll tell you guys what happened with my experience. I started to see an improvement in my skin probably about three to four weeks in. And the more I used it, the more I started to see my skin getting better. One thing I will tell you guys, since Adapalene is a retinoid, sometimes what can happen is that your skin can go through a period when you start using a retinoid called retinization. It's like your skin is purging. So what happens is your skin can get worse before it gets better. Everyone's different. I personally did not go through the retinization. I think it's because I don't really have sensitive skin. So I kind of started to see improvements in my skin pretty early on but that can definitely happen where for a few weeks where you start to see that your skin gets worse but then once the retinization period ends that's when you really start to see your skin improve and after using different gel for about 12 weeks that's when you really start to see the best results for your skin and you guys can see from before my skin has gotten so much better so if you suffer with acne and you want to use a product that is prescription strength but you don't want to get a prescription this is what i definitely recommend for you guys to try because different gel is the first brand to bring adapalene over the counter without prescription so if you're going to trust any brand that has that 
this is the brand that I would trust because they're the first ones to do it. I'm gonna keep you guys posted on my progress. If you guys have any questions about retinoids, adapalene, Differin, whatever you have questions about, leave them for me in the description box or in the comments below, not in the description box, in the comments below, and I will try my best to answer them. All right, guys, let's get into this no makeup makeup look. So I've been doing this look so much lately that I'm just gonna basically show you guys all the products that I have been using and loving. These are the things that I truly love to use. Starting off with the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. This is what I've been using as kind of a primer moisturizer. It's nice and thick. Oops, that is the plastic cover. <laughs> it's nice and thick and it has such a nice dewy texture to it. It. So the reason I've been loving this is because you apply this first and then when you apply foundation over it, it just gives like this natural glow that shines through the foundation. So it's a beautiful way to prep your skin before you do anything else. And I just love to kind of push it into my skin and really work it in. You definitely don't need a lot because it's quite thick. So just use a little bit and just really make that melt into your skin. Next, I'm using my favorite foundation for a very natural finish. It is the Smashbox Studio Skin Shaping Foundation. So this is double-ended. So it has the foundation stick on one end and then it has the contour color on the other end. And the color that I'm using is 2.3. And the way that I've been applying this has been working so well to give just like the most beautiful natural coverage. So what I like to do is I like to take my Real Techniques brush. This is the contour brush and it has like a nice shape to it. It's synthetic, it just applies foundation beautifully. And then I just sweep it on the tip of the stick just to pick up some foundation. And then I just go in and I gently buff the foundation into my skin. The great thing about this is now that I feel like my skin is just looking so much better, I don't need to use a lot of product, you guys. That's the best part about having clearer skin is that you just you don't need to use a lot of makeup. Like you hardly use anything. I'm using the tiniest bit of foundation and it's going to basically cover my whole face. So you guys can see this foundation literally looks invisible. It looks like you have nothing on and applying it this way just like buffing it into your skin makes it melt and pretty much disappear but it also just gives you such an even skin tone which is all we really want i'm not trying to cover up my skin i'm just trying to even it out so you guys could see on this side my skin looks super even there's still that natural dew that's coming through from the bobby brown primer it looks like i have nothing on that is the best part of no makeup makeup <laughs> is when people are like oh you look great today your skin's amazing <laughs> you're like oh thank you <laughs> oh you know just woke up like this actually i I've, I've never said that line because i'm <laughs> i usually always have something on my skin bb cream cc cream at least <laughs> but this is definitely my favorite way that i've been doing any type of skin makeup recently. It just looks the best. So in any areas where I want a little bit more coverage, I just add a little bit more onto my brush and then just go back and just build it a little bit. And even like when I'm buffing it into my skin, you guys, I'm kind of barely touching my face. Like I wish you guys could see, like I'm kind of just wisping it. So it's not like I'm like pushing hard. I'm not doing that. I'm just kind of wisping it. So the brush barely touches my face, but it just glides around and just buffs everything in. All right. And that is all we're doing for foundation. Next, we want to work on the under eye area to brighten that up because that is one of the areas that can really make you look tired and not that fresh. So we definitely want to get a beautiful, fresh look, but still look like we have nothing on. So one of the best ways to do that is by color correcting. This isn't necessarily something you need to do every day, but if you want to, 
you have the option. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. I am using one of my current favorite products right now. It is from Live Tinted. It is their Hue Stick, which is basically a color corrector, a lip color, a cheek color, an eye color. You could do so much stuff with these Hue Sticks. They come in three different shades. I'm gonna be using the pink shade today, and this is called Perk. And I have like a little bit of discoloration, but not a lot. Like there's a bit of purple kind of blue tones underneath my eye areas where you're getting some of that darkness, but I don't have a lot of it. So I'm just gonna use this hue stick just in that area to counterbalance that discoloration. If you have a lot of darkness in that area or a lot of discoloration, I recommend using the red tone. This will really help get rid of any of that purple blue tones and if depending on how dark your circles are so the color correcting makes it super easy and i love how easy these are to use and these like little cute hue sticks and then you can go over that with concealer so i am using the Too faced born this way multi-use sculpting concealer in the shade golden beige applying a fair amount we're going to blend most of this out. So don't worry if it looks like a lot because we really are gonna blend most of it out. And I kind of just like to go down the side of my nose, do a little dot there and a little dot here just to highlight in those areas. So to blend out concealer, I really love using my finger because I find this gives the most natural finish by pushing the product into your skin, it kind of just melted into your skin. And you don't want to be able to tell that you have any concealer on. You want it to just look like your under eye area is just super bright and fresh and awake. That's what we're going for. So just pushing it into your skin will do that. And make sure you're using a nice creamy product. Really thick dry concealers make it kind of impossible to do this. So you don't want to use anything that's too thick in the eye area. So you guys could see that just looks very natural, but this part of our eyes just looks nice and bright. I wish I didn't have any concealer on this eye so I could show you guys the difference, but there's no discoloration. There's no darkness. That's what we want. You could also use your beauty blender to blend this out. That definitely works as well, but I've just been really finding that using my finger just works the best, works better than anything else. So I'm trying to stick with that instead. And that little bit of highlight on your chin and on your forehead just looks really pretty and really natural without adding too many products. I'm gonna do my brows next because this is gonna make a lot of difference on how your look is overall. I am using the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil number four. This is one of my current favorite brow pencils. I just love how it looks and the texture of it, all of it works great. So I also love that it has a spoolie. So for the brows, I want them to be very bushy, very natural. I don't want them to look very filled in. So I'm just slightly filling them in, in just in the areas that really need to be filled in. I'm not adding product if it doesn't need to be added in those areas. And I'm using small strokes, just kind of flicking the pencil upwards and then going back and brushing it all out with the spoolie. The part of my brow that recently I feel like really needs extra product is just on my ends because they've been really short lately. So try not to touch the ends when I'm plucking, <laughs> just let them grow out. And then a little bit at the arch. And then once I have them pretty much filled into where I want them to be, I go back and add a clear brow gel. And I really love the one from Anastasia, Beverly Hills. This is just clear, so not much to it, but this is gonna give you that really kind of fluffy, bushy brow that just looks super natural and doesn't look too overdone. So I haven't done any powder yet. And before I do powder, I'm going to do just a very slight contour, <laughs> a cream contour. And I'm gonna use the other side of my Smashbox foundation and contour stick. And to do this, I just do this really quickly. I kind of just go straight from the tube onto my skin, just in all of the key areas. I personally love contouring my nose. You do not have to do this. 
but I just like to do it. It's a personal preference. And then I just go in with my It Cosmetics number seven conceal brush and just blend it all out. The reason I love using a cream contour for a no makeup makeup like this is because it just looks so much more natural than using a powder, I find. The key for all this really is just using products that by the time you blend everything away, it looks like you have nothing on. That's, that's really what we're aiming for. <laughs> For the cheeks, I'm using one of my favorite products right now. It is the Urban Decay Lip Mousse, but I'm using it for my cheeks. <laughs> I know it's for the lips, but I do not like following rules, so I'm just gonna use it for how I wanna use it. It is the perfect color. This color is called Fade. It's kind of this warm brown tone with like red undertones. So what I like to do is just take a little bit. It's a cream, so you're gonna blend it out like a cream blush, basically. Haven't done any powder yet, so this is gonna go on first. And then just gently buff this into your skin. You could use a brush if you want, but I find that using your finger works great, but whatever works for you. I think this is just the most beautiful color. I'm kind of obsessed with it. It's so pretty. This brush that I'm using, this is the Sigma F15 Dual Fiber Powder Blush Brush. I like the shape of it. It's a little bit different, but it's good for something like this because it just gently buffs it out without removing or moving the product around. So what is great about this is that it's just super subtle. It is the most natural flush to your skin. And since this is technically a lip mousse, so it is for your lips, I'm gonna add a little bit on my lips as well, just to give a very natural flush color to my lips without it looking like I have something on. And these come in a lot of different shades. And they're all so beautiful, you guys. I love this product. It has a very unique texture to it. It's kind of like creamy, but it dries matte, so. It just looks very natural. So I have that same product from Urban Decay in another color. This is what we use on our cheeks, this one here called Fade. I also have this color here, this is called Amplify. I'm gonna start with Fade on my lips just to see how that looks. If your lips are a little bit on the drier side, maybe add a tiny bit of a lip conditioner before you do this. I don't wanna to add too much because I don't want it to look shiny, but I also don't want my lips to be dry. So just a tiny little bit is all you need. And I'm taking just a little bit on my finger and kind of just pushing it in. Mmm, that is very pretty. I love this. Looks so natural on. Wow, so pretty. It actually is a lot more pigmented than I thought. But I love that because it's really subtle. I think I'm going to add just a pop of this. I just want to see how this looks. Mmm. Gives it a little bit of redness, but I think I'm just gonna stick with that first color. Don't mess with it too much. <laughs> so for the eyes on a no makeup makeup, you can kind of just let them be, add some mascara and that's it. Or one little thing that I like to do that's super, super subtle, but actually makes a big difference is to take an angled brush, something like this, and a dark brown eyeshadow, just any dark brown eyeshadow will work. And then, right at the base of your lashes. So basically as close to your lash line as possible, just push that shadow into your lash line. I'm gonna do one eye and show you guys the comparison between both eyes because it's so subtle. If I didn't do it on camera, you probably wouldn't have even noticed that I did it, but it makes a difference. So I'm just pushing that shadow right at the base of my lashes. I'm just extending it a tiny bit on that outer corner. And that is basically it. So just by doing that tiny little line, it gives your eye just a little something, but it's super, super subtle. It's not noticeable to the point that people are gonna think you have any eye makeup. They're just gonna probably think you just have mascara, but this is a way to make your lashes look fuller and thicker by doing that little bit of a line. Next, I always like to curl my lashes. Always, always, always. This is like a must. If you don't curl your lashes, you guys, please start curling them. It makes all the difference. And then on top of that, 
just add whatever your current favorite mascara is. Right now I am using the Maybelline Snap Mascara. I talked about this in another video and I told you guys I would tell you if I like it or not if, once I use it enough and I like it. It works great. I wanna show you guys the difference between both eyes. So this is a really easy way to just open up and brighten your eyes without doing much. Just a bit of mascara and that tiny little bit of liner is all you need. So the thing that I've been doing lately that I find is making a big difference is I'm waiting to apply powder till the very end, just to really see where I need powder. Because if I don't need it all over, I don't wanna apply it all over. It just doesn't look as flattering. So I'm just taking a tiny little bit. This is my Lancome Dual Finish Versatile Powder. I think that's what it's called. Fondant Foundation Powder. I don't know, there's like a million names back here. <laughs> I'm gonna list it for you guys below. And just like a nice little fluffy powder brush, just barely touching my skin, just gently flicking this on just in the areas where I'm getting a little bit of shine underneath my eyes, just to set that concealer, the side of my cheeks, my chin, and that is it. So the last step for this look, you guys, is a bit of highlighter, and I'm using a cream highlighter. This one is from Buxom. This is the Divine Goddess Luminizer, and it has this gorgeous golden undertone to it. Let me see if you guys could see that super pretty and i'm just going to use a tiny bit in all of the key areas so use a little bit in the inner corner just to brighten that up it adds just a little bit of sparkle to your eye but it's super subtle and i like to do just a little on the tip of my nose this helps my nose look a little bit thinner you definitely don't need to do this if you don't want to <laughs> underneath the brows and then I like to go in with a more, with a bigger brush, just to really apply it. Top of my cheekbones, and then above my brows as well. Cause this just looks so pretty when you kind of turn your face and it just picks up in the light. And that is how I do my no makeup makeup look. So easy to do, you guys. And of course, if I wasn't talking and filming, it would be super quick as well. <laughs> if you guys have any questions about the makeup, about different gel, make sure you leave it for me in the comments below. I will try my best to answer them for you guys. And I will include links to everything I talked about today in the description box. And if you're new, make sure you hit that subscribe button and add me on Instagram at Iman. And that's it, guys. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. This has been my go-to look for a while, so I'm glad I got to share it with you. And I will see you guys next week with a brand new Sunday tutorial.